Now, if you look inside the bulletin, the second, I guess, full page, well, page three, you'll find information on indulgences for the holy souls for the month of November. Uh, so you have one week to prepare for that. But the whole month of November is the month dedicated to the holy souls. And from the 1st to the 8th of November, you can gain a plenary indulgence once every day, applicable only to the holy souls in purgatory, by visiting a cemetery and praying for the dead. Also, And so I have a little prayer here that you can pray for that and the directions on what to do. The other thing on November 2nd, which is All Souls Day, which is Tuesday of the following week, you can gain a plenary indulgence applicable only to the souls in purgatory by visiting a church. So if you come to Mass on All Souls Day, or even if you just come to the church on All Souls Day to pray for the dead under the usual conditions of confession, Holy Communion, and prayers for the Holy Father, uh, you can gain a plenary indulgence there. And then there's a little information here on indulgences. Now you should, you should know what an indulgence is and what an indulgence is not. You should gain as many indulgences as you can for yourself, whether partial or plenary, and during November, especially for the holy souls. Because, really, as an act of justice, we need to strive for heaven. And God has given us this. All penance is medicine for our souls. All penance is medicinal for our souls. So praying, doing good deeds, doing, doing good works in the name of Jesus Christ, reading the Holy Scriptures, spending time before the Blessed Sacrament, all of those, and praying the Rosary, all of those can gain you an indulgence. An indulgence heals the wounds left over after you've confessed your sins. An indulgence doesn't forgive your sins. Your sins have to already be forgiven. But you know, after you've confessed your sins, we all hold on to stuff. And that's what we call the attachment to sin. And that's what purgatory is for, to detach us from all those attachments we've had to sin. So we do penance to help detach us from sin after we've confessed our sins. But the indulgence, you could say, is like a matching grant. So, like, if you go to a benefit and they say, well, everyone who gives $100, we'll give $1,000. Well, that's, that's kind of like an indulgence, except that if it's a plenary indulgence, you give so little. I mean, really, what did you do? You went to a cemetery and you prayed a prayer. And the Lord gave you all of this in, entire healing from the wounds left over after you've confessed your sins. I mean, that's huge. So... I would encourage you to learn more about indulgences and to gain as many as you can.